Hey guys, welcome back and thank you for checking out my video today. Today we are going to finish up our plant versus zombie game. Um, last time we talked about linking the slides to each other and uh, putting the triggers on the buttons to get certain animations to start. So today we are going to wrap it up by linking the um, final screen back to the select screen. So we'll scroll down to the final scenes here. And we'll click on the icon. And we'll hyperlink that. Go to action setting and go to hyperlink to choose slide and we want to go to slide number three so that one's okay we'll work our way down click on the icon right click go to action setting slide three that's okay good this is the part that consumes a lot of time so but you have to get this right or your game will not uh, function correctly so you got to make sure that everything is linked back to everything that one looks good also thank you for all your kind comments and suggestions as well I really enjoy reading your comments okay so if you guys have any questions or concern about uh, any particular games that I make or upload onto my channel uh, please let me know in the comment sections below and I'll uh, take a look at that and get back to you on it I know there has been some uh, concern and questions about certain things and I will uh, get back to you on uh, those questions as well. Again, I'm using a MacBook uh, with an upgraded PowerPoint. Um, <clears throat> and so some of the functions might not run proper properly on your, your uh, PowerPoint. Uh, so just make sure you have an updated version and make sure it has all the animations and uh, sounds that it needs um, but I'll be including the sound effects file with the link below as well yeah that one looks good let's try this one again I hope you guys are enjoying these videos um, because I really enjoy making them for you and it has been a learning process for me as well um, I've been making PowerPoint games for a while now um, but I started out very slow and learning a lot of the basics and finding a lot of my information online through a lot of forum forums and um, searches just like you guys did and also trying other uh, teachers materials and games and learning um, from what they did as well okay slide three now yeah, this takes a lot of uh, a lot of work but if you guys know an easier way just let me know in the comment section below This one doesn't have it, so we'll go to uh, choose slide, and we'll pick slide three, hit OK. I'm working on a few new 
games as well and I will be uploading that uh, shortly as well so I would like you guys to take a look at that if possible and let me know what you think I'm experimenting with a lot of new things and uh, I hope you guys like that that seems fine there So this version of Plant vs. Zombie uses a random macro script. Um, unfortunately, when I tried to save it, I couldn't save it as PPT or PPTX. Um, so it's saved um, under an older uh, PowerPoint version. That's the only way that I could use the macro for the, um, the MacBook version. It's The file is... The file is slightly bigger, of course, saving it into uh, an older version of PowerPoint, but it allows me to use the, uh, the random script that I uh, put into the game. And it wasn't so sure if I linked that. <laughs> Let's double check it. Yeah, it seems okay. Another question I have is how do you do this, the, the score system? For this particular game, there's no uh, scoreboard or anything like that. So it's really up to you how you want to award the points. Uh, you can award the points however way you want, or you can simply uh, choose the icon here. The icon has like a numbers on here. You can uh, give them points based on the icon, maybe five points for the plant here. So it's really up to you on how you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It looks like everything's working. So let's test it out. Hit the play button down here. The zombies are coming. Brains. 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 Click on the plant icon to see if it takes you back to the select screen. And it does. So let's try it out. Let's choose uh, number five. Uh, click on the right answer to go to the plant or zombie select screen. Click on either plant or zombie. And it should randomly uh, take you to a random slide. So let's click on an icon here, see if it takes us back to the select screen. And it does, and we'll just try out one more, just in case. I'll find, click on letter K, click on the right answer, uh, pick a plant or a zombie. The zombies are coming. worked out perfectly so let's click on the icon to go back to the select screen so that looks good all right everything is working the letter falls off all animated hit exit to escape all right um, just double check here and make sure you hit the save button to save your hard work so you don't lose all of that work that you've been doing All right, looks good to me. Oh, 
Well, I hope you guys enjoy my behind the scene of Plant vs. Zombie. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell, so you don't miss the latest uploads that I will be putting up on this channel. And don't forget to hit the, a like if you enjoy my video. As always, thank you for checking out my video. I wish you the best of luck in your classes.